Ah, an equipment chest. Keep it down, will ya? Yes, yes, I borrowed it. Wanted to finish some old projects, you know. But here, if you tell old Oswald, I might lose me other hand. Get this. I'll tell you where to find it if you keep quiet, all right? All right, I'll keep quiet, but don't do that again. We can't steal around here. That's not nice. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do some work around the base. I'm going to uh, change some things up in the interior, get some more storage going, uh, kind of do a better, more sensible arrangement of our NPCs. Um, and I have some general ideas of how this is going to happen, but uh, not any specific ideas quite yet. So I think what we'll do, first of all, is... Um, Let's go ahead and and get our carpenter out. Uh, so we're going to need the summoning staff for that. Um, just because I want to see, you know, what is currently available uh, to us. Plus, you know, we want to um, get him out anyways for um, uh, quests and that kind of thing. So I think what we'll do is we'll just put him right here for the moment. That's not necessarily where he's going to stay forever, though. All right. So let's take a look at his quest first. Tombs and treasures. Flameborn, you've got that spark. We share a passion, don't we? Architecture, art, grave robbing. Uh, I mean, preserving forgotten beauty. <laughs> it's rumored that our queen was buried, although none know where, alongside her curi cur curios, her stuff, basically. She's got no use for him now. She's dead. Ha, so why not go explore it? Uh, bridge, you found my notes. Yes, I've long considered myself among the best though my Aunt Braylon would beg to differ. Of course, great artists have a signature to mark their works. Mine is a chest I set in the foundation of the Braylon Bridge, right by the middle pillar. Despite my best efforts, not a soul has noticed yet. Hmm, okay. Um, the VUCA. Lately, I can't help but wonder. The VUCA are always somber beasts, bound to their caves. But they've been traveling east, aggravated. Perhaps this warrants an investigation. Maybe at their gathering location. You can find some answers. It would help to know what they're up to. All right. I don't even know what the VUCA is, but well, I guess we'll find out. Um, building Diadwin. You know, Flameborn, I helped build Morwenna, named her after my most peaceful auntie. <laughs> I built many a town around here. Ever see uh, Diadwin? I think I left some of my half-timbered blocks there. Why not check? Fighters keepers. All right. So he's leading us to some new block styles, which might we might actually want for uh, doing stuff around the base. Okay. Um, what can... You, he craft okay we can do a kiln which we need to make bricks and stuff like that it looks like i've got all of that stuff oh see look at that we got the clay in the couple episodes ago so we're good to go and oh this is cool so he can make the magic chest and this allows us to pull directly from the chest uh and i have a few shroud cores those um those banshee things that we killed in the last episode actually drop those maybe we should we could go back there and farm some uh, as well as the the fell Thunderbrute guy. Um, okay, nicer bed there. And all of that is doable. A banquet table. Oh, look at that fireplace. Plus three comfort. That is nice. Okay, so we're going to have to... Yeah, I, yeah, getting the carpenter and deciding to work on the base was good timing because we got some new, really cool new stuff here. Benches, a bathtub, a bathtub, a pooper... And a sink. Oh yeah, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make a bathroom. Um there's a clay fireplace. That's just the normal stone one I think that we've been using all along. Really cool. I I, I definitely like this one the most though. Oh uh, we got different tables too. Oh there's a nightstand. Okay, that doesn't give us any comfort, but it'll be nice for decoration. Um, and then illumination. Oh, look at this. We got all kinds of new light options. Standing torch, fire, a firefly chandelier. Cool. A brazier, firefly, a uh, firefly wall lamp. Yeah. Oh man. This is going to be fun. You guys, the building in this game is just freaking awesome. Okay. we got some doors, polished wooden door. Woodlock nails tar. Yep, we got all of that stuff. Carved 
wooden door. All definitely doable. Okay. There's so much here that there's no way I'm going to be able to get it all done in one episode. So we'll have to, oh, look at that. That's cool looking. Um, we're going to have to, uh, you know, stretch this out over multiple episodes. More dishes. Okay, cool. Indigo plant. A ladder. Nice. And secret doors. Oh, cool. So we can make our own secret doors. Uh, nice. Okay. I love it. All kinds of good stuff. Well, we're going to need the kiln for sure. Um, so let's pin this in. Measure twice. Measure twice, cut once. That's right. I used to do construction many, many, many centuries ago. <laughs> and uh, that was definitely double check your measurements, triple check your measurements. Um, okay, so we got the stone. We need clay, metal scraps, and twigs. Um, here's the clay, the twigs, and the metal scraps. Excellent. One kiln coming up. And then I'll bet you we put the clay inside the kiln um, to make the bricks. Hey. Hey. Um, I guess it would kind of make sense to have the kiln next to the charcoal kiln. If we're going to do that, though. Um, okay. Okay. What's in here right now? A lot of stuff. Okay, let's pick this up. And what I'm thinking is... We put... This kind of more here. Uh, hey, hey! hey. Um, don't necessarily want it to clip into the wall so much, but I can't tell how far back it is, so let's just put it there. Um, it's clipping a little bit, but let's leave it there for a second. Oi! Oi! Oh, I guess we can do it from this angle, too. All right, so if I just put this right about there, that leaves us a little bit of room to pull this back out some so it's not hey. all the way. Hey. I want to turn it so the door's this way, and then we can... Maybe clip it in just a little bit because it's pretty damn big. There. That ought to work. I wonder if there's anything we could practically put over in there. Maybe a light or something. I don't know. Okay, so to uh, we have one recipe. It's brick, and of course it's logs and clay. All right. Now, remember, we can go back to... I put a this here right by where we found that clay deposit um so we can in fact you know what let's just do it right now there's no reason not to i, I want to gather up a bunch of clay so that way we can start making bricks and whilst we're here uh, maybe i'll grab a little more copper too though i still don't have a recipe to do anything for copper you know something else occurred to me as well um if terrain modification is in the range of the flame altar then it doesn't replenish itself whereas if it's outside after a few days it will so let's let's move this so those deposits are not within um nope uh, nope here we go uh, not within the range of that so yeah it this should keep us well out of the the range of the border of that. Um, I don't. I can't actually see that without the build hammer, which of course I don't have on me at the moment. Okay, so I'm just going to mine up a bunch of clay and probably some more copper too, and then I'll meet you guys back at the base. Okay, we are back, and uh, I mined up uh, two full stacks of clay and then some. So we're going to keep one stack of raw clay. 
and then we're going to put the rest of it into here and uh, also let me put all this stuff back into here too might as well just store it in there for now since i don't have um i need more storage which is part of what we're going to accomplish today and then let's also grab a full stack of wood put that in here and there we go all right so that should make us a uh, bunch of bricks and that takes care of that now um what do we have for for blocks roughly cut stone block flint stone i kind of like the roughly cut that's just rough rough wood block tarred block Shroud wood block. Okay. Um, I wish I had, you know what? Let's now, what do you want? Hey. Greetings, Flameborn. Carpenter rescued another friendly face. This one will make a fine addition to our roster. Alchemist mortar. My trusty mortar is lost. I suspect it is in my tower in Lone Thistle in the deepest depths. Please find and form me. My abilities will be much greater with it in hand. Okay. Um. Feel the spirits of nature. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what I'm thinking is he gave us a quest to go find a new type of wood. Um. So why don't we do that? Because then maybe we can actually use it for the build. Um. So I think it's this one here. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's set this as the active quest, show it on the map. And, um, oh, no, you know what? Damn it, Jim. It's on the other side of the deadly shroud. All right. I'm going to definitely prioritize getting our flame upgraded, but I got to kill the Matron, whatever the hell her name is, to do that. So what we could do is I could just keep building with the the cheap ass wood for now and then upgrade it later cuz I want to get the I want to get the arrangement taken care of and in particular get the storage in place cuz that's what's really kind of screwing me up right now is, is just don't have enough storage but I don't want to make a whole bunch of random storage now um without having it organized in place where I want it to be. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and grab um, whatever wood blocks we currently have, which is, are these. There's quite a bit there. All right, and we need to get our uh, builder's hammer, which is here. Um, actually, I'm going to hang on to the summoning staff for the moment, too. Uh, let's also sleep because it's getting dark. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I want to have some rooms. <clears throat> so the general idea is to do something like this. Tab, enter build mode. Let's go up to four meters and do walls. Door frame. All right, let's put a door frame there. I want the, those walls to be flush with this, which they are. Okay, good. All right, now let's go to um, I guess just this. Bye. 
Um, I'm going to have to carve the door back out. Or can I just read? Uh, okay, hold on a sec. Oh, it doesn't let me do that. Okay, so let's just go to here then. And... No, I guess we're going to have to do this. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. There we go. Now, as far as up above, I think we're going to have to go to... Is it four meter? If we do that, um, is it going to, what's it going to look like on the outside? Eh, that's okay. Actually it adds a little character to the roof. Okay. I like that idea. So, so my thought is this, each corner of the building will be dedicated to one of the craftsmen. The only issue that we have with that though, is we have five and only have four corners, but the hunter, the hunter doesn't have, um, Okay, hold on a second. If we go here. Why is crafting character skills? When I go to my journal, it's it's popping into oh back? There we go. Okay. I was trying to get to this screen. So the hunter's the only one that doesn't have workstations, right? Whereas the farmer has workstations, the carpenter has workstations. One of these, where's the blacksmith? One of these showed, there's something that shows, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Sorry. Uh, these are all the workstations that, that they make, right? So Alchemist has three, Oswald has three. Carpenter has three, but the hunter has none. And farmer actually has four. So what I'm thinking we do with our hunter is we can just keep her in one of the foyers, I guess. Um, and then this one will dedicate to the carpenter. This one will be the farmer, AKA kitchen. This one will be the blacksmith area. And this one will be the alchemist area. Um, that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking at the moment. Okay. Uh, let's see what this dude wants. Equipment lost. Arg, just where is it now? It was right here, me equipment chest. I need it for salvaging, but it got swiped. I'm telling you, someone took the whole chest. Ask around for me, will you? Someone here is a dirty thief. Are you implying that somebody in the house took it? Mm. Did you take his chest? No, he doesn't have anything to say. Did you take his chest? Nope. Oh. Got my hands full. Ah, an equipment chest. Keep it down, will ya? Yes, yes, I borrowed it. Wanted to finish some old projects, you know. But Ed, if you tell old Oswald, I might lose me other hand. Get this. I'll tell you where to find it if you keep quiet, all right? All right, I'll keep quiet, but don't do that again. We can't steal around here. That's not nice. Um, new marker added. Okay. Dude, what the hell, man? You're the newest guy here, and you're stealing right off the bat? That is no bueno. 
Okay, so anyway, um, I kind of don't like that the foyers are are so big, but on the other hand, you know we have we have so much space in here. It kind of does isn't a big deal. Now here's another thought though. Hmm. The blacksmith more than probably anybody else need you know i i mean the game doesn't care but in in reality you know you need things like forges and kilns to be outside or well ventilated so we could we could make the courtyard the blacksmith's area and then that would free us up a corner to put the hunter in a corner not that she you know has workstations but we you know we could just kind of decorate it and then my thought for storage was I mean, the easiest thing to do is have the storage all in one place and just make it the magic storage. And to that end, maybe it would make sense then to have the entryway put all the storage in there. So that way, when we come through the door, the storage is right there. But do it in a nice, orderly fashion so it looks good. Um, remember, I'm just kind of making this shit up as I go, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, I think I'm kind of actually digging that idea in, instead. The, the, I, I know I can make the foyer smaller, but then I, I kind of like the idea of it lining up with the courtyard on all four corners is the thing. We could, we could have it line up instead on these pillars though, that which would give us more space in these other rooms. The other thing that, that if I put all of the NPCs in all four corners, that doesn't account for where my bedroom's going to go. Um, so that's a another consideration. Hmm. Oh, and a bathroom, too. That's right. Damn, we need a bathroom. All right. You know what? I, I got to rethink this. <laughs> I mean, we could we could make another building, but I mean, this place is huge. It's just a matter of... We have enough space. It's just a matter of how do we allocate it, you know? Um, let me let me give this some thought, and I'll I'll, uh, I'll be back in a little bit with some ideas. All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, I have a little bit better idea of uh, what's going on, uh, what I want to do here. So, um, this assuming this is our main entryway... Um, most of the time, we actually enter the building just by teleporting back, but um, we'll just call this our main entry here. So we come in here, and then immediately to the left is the storage room. And I made uh, four of the magic storage boxes because I had four cores, and I'll have to farm up you know, more of those and then just turn all the rest of the storage into those as well. But uh, basically, we got wood products in here. Um, this has metal products uh, and or well actually metal and stone so or types of products uh, this is fiber leather types of products uh, this is building materials this is farming materials this is magic materials and I know some of this stuff crosses over too um, this is actually not used yet equipment goes in here potions go in here uh, food goes in there and that's also empty at the moment so we have lots of room to expand uh, the game won't let me stack three high and only it would only let me go two high so yeah that was kind of interesting um so my tentative plan for this room is this will be the bathroom and then of course we'll have to we'll have to cover this up for privacy uh, but you know if you're out in the field and you need to come in and take a piss really quick. Uh, you want the bathroom pretty close to the front door. So uh, <laughs> that's the idea behind that. So we'll figure out, you know, that arrangement. Um, and then this is going to be the kitchen area. And let's actually grab our our cook here. And um, Emily. There. Okay. So my plan is to put the crafts uh, people just in the inside corner here. So I already got the carpenter in place so this this is going to be the carpenter's area where we'll set up the table saw and all that kind of thing um, this will be the cook's area uh, this will be the blacksmith's area over here 
Um, so let's um, let's go back to here. And also, I need alt. Yeah, I realized that instead of putting down the four meter doors and then cutting the door out, all I have to do is go to the two meters and just use the two meter walls um, and put those in, except for that's not where I want that to go. I want it to go here. Like so. And then um, I kind of am, am opting for the... Um, a little bit more of an open feel um, except for in the case of the bathroom you know um, we don't want that to be too open but I could yeah I'm not I'm not so sure I like these here what we could maybe do is also open this up more so if we let's remove those walls and go um, and actually yeah let's do the same thing over here too and then we'll go to two meter and just put walls in like this so that way it's a little more open oh um, man I really wish it would let me stack higher I don't understand why it doesn't but see it, it's red it won't it won't go in there hmm it might have something to do with maybe the character would have trouble accessing it from being too high up. So that could possibly be the kit situation. Um, now I could stack them here. They'd kind of block the view of the courtyard, but I think we're going to actually go with that for the time being, just for practical reasons. And... You know, before this playthrough is all said and done, we may even need more storage than the jet. In fact, I'm sure we will. Um, but I can... One possibility is for stuff that we only seldom access, what we could do is something like... Um, put that in there. Like that. Oh. Really? There we go. I think that's what we wanted to do. Uh, I guess it makes the most sense to place it here. All right. So let's um, let's go here. And then take another section out. Now, if we put the ladder down. And connect it here. Uh, nope, we got to push it over further. Unless, well, I wonder if it would let me put it up against the wall. Probably not, because I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I see there... It, I'm going to bang my head into the roof. That isn't going to work. Um. I don't think this is going to work. Let's try it just to see what the hell happens. But Yeah, we don't have enough clearance there. I think the only way the ladder is going to work in this scenario is if we keep it more towards the center, which means it's going to be right in the way of everything else. <coughs> so I will, uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to stop working on this particular thing for now. Um, and think about, you know, uh, maybe come up with a solution for it later. 
But um, let's do this. Let's get the rest of... Okay, let's go back over here. So, yeah, the way I set it up here is I put these walls in here, but with the larger entryway, just so it, you know, gives the the building a little more structure. It has not escaped me, too, that, you know, we could we could do something up in the attic. Um, what I might do is move the bedroom up into like an attic and maybe put some dormers in on the roof with some windows. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking of, you know, as far as that goes, let's go ahead and make it daytime again. All right. So let's just finish, um, the main walls. I, I think I'm going to, for now, I think I'm going to leave. See, I, I haven't decided if I like this more open look, which I'm kind of starting to think I do, or this look here. I'm, I'm kind of favoring the, the more open look. So here's what we're going to do for now. And, you know, we can always, of course, change all of this stuff up later. But for now... Let's just keep everything in this area nice and open. And we'll do that on all the other three sides. Uh, like it is here. Okay, so that means... The only other wall, actually, that we need to put in right now is this one. Let's go back to two meters. Nope. Gotta move it over a little more. Right there, and one right there, and then we go to four meters, and we put the little angle pieces in. Did I? Oh, it's in the wrong place. Here, let's just put this one in right now, since we're still on that shape. Except for that's too high. There we go. Then we'll go back to two meters and plop this wall in like that. No, not like that. Like that. Good gravy. There. Okay. So that that gives us our four rooms. We leave the the foyer open for now. I, I know we're wasting a lot of space by doing that, but we can always expand on that later. Let's just remove those for now. And um, then we'll get the four crafts uh, craftsmen craftspeople set up in each corner and as far as my bedroom goes what i'm thinking is we move the bedroom up to an attic and like i said we put i just had another thought what if we let's go outside for a second What if we built a a tower on on the back end of this building? I'm just trying to think in my mind what that might look like and if it would change it if it'll change the aesthetic in a good way, you know? Um so the idea would be on this back end, we would have, we would build a tower or a second floor kind of idea. And that would really give us a huge amount of room. Because if we do the, if we do the attic idea, it's going to be very, very cramped, especially if we hold the floor up. This, this is not right. 
Who did this, man? Can't get good help these days. Um... Is that wall... I don't think this wall is placed correctly either. There we go. Yeah, the more I think about it, um, the attic idea is it, it's not going to work. It's going to be so cramped up there, we're not going to have room for anything. So, what I think instead we do is on this side of the house, in this section here, we build up and, and you know, have like a second floor maybe a tower or maybe just a, a second floor um and then we could put a balcony you know up there to look out over the courtyard i like that idea i think that'll work good i think that'll work good but we've um we're not going to do that in this episode just because you know we'll have to have another building episode where we'll improve that later so for the nonce um i'm going to put Let's see, let's get the blacksmith put in position. So this will be the blacksmith's work area. Maybe we should just okay, hold on, hold on. Let's why don't we make this the alchemist's room instead? And maybe what we do is we keep Alchemist, where are you? There you go. Maybe what we do instead is we keep the blacksmith and the hunter out here because all of the almost all of the blacksmith stuff is out here. Uh, plus the hunter's drying rack is out here. I wonder why that's not asso associated with her. We should see a drying rack, right? I'll bet you that's a bug. Because the drying rack comes from her. Yeah. I'll bet you that's a bug. That should show a drying rack. So now the more I think about it, this makes a really good sense. We keep the hunter and the blacksmith out in the courtyard. That's just their spot because all of their their stuff is out here. Um. And, you know, as we get more workstations, we'll have to f try and fit it in as neatly as possible. I... <clears throat> I'm not super crazy about this arrangement, to be honest with you, because it's just, I don't know, it's kind of jank. Um, this is the farmer's stuff. So what we could do is, and should do is move this into the kitchen area. I don't think that wall's placed correctly either. That's better. Yeah, so so this can go into the kitchen area. Um, I'm just gonna put it here for now, but you know, I'll I'll rearrange the equipment as as we as we get more of it, you know, and are able to make more of it. Um, Ancient Spire Riverwood will open. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, lady. I'm just not high enough to get over there yet. <coughs> I like this arrangement better. And that way, that way we can keep our bedroom in this corner, at least for the time being. Now, I still kind of like the idea of the tower um, that we could add on to this, which, you know, which let's tentatively plan on doing that. And then these open areas here, we could just, you know, put de decorative stuff and make it look really cool. Uh, this will be the bathroom like we, like we talked about. Hopefully that's big enough. Um, yeah, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. And uh, yeah, so... Let me reposition these guys a little better. I'm just going to put you over here. And the hunter can actually stay where she is. She's good right there. Now, um let's take let's pick these these guys back up for a second. Nope. Nope. Stop it. Okay, so we'll put this back the way that it was. 
more in the corner. And I'm going to actually just keep the door facing that direction. You know, this actually could work. It's sticking out a little bit, but I don't think that's a big deal. Because remember, we've got more stations that we got to put out here eventually. So yeah, that works. I, I'm okay with that. I'm down with that. And then everything else can just kind of stay the, the way that it is uh, for now. All right, cool. So we made good progress. What I'm going to do then is um, I'm going to farm up <clears throat> some more cores. And I'll probably go back to the... Um, Oh, we got to do that ancient spire too. Back to the vault where those wraith banshee things were and just kill a bunch of those to get the cores. Um, we could probably drop back down in into the elixir well. It, it, you know, considering that this is completed. Oh, yeah, you know what? That's not going to work because the boss isn't going to show up down there. So I'm just going to go farm up those banshees, get some more cores so I can change all of these into magic. Uh, chess, farm up some more metal so we can you know, finish uh, putting at least two more, and then we'll we'll see how that storage does. Um, there is a solution for this. I just have to think it through, and I'll worry about that later. And I think what we'll do then in the next episode is we'll get back to questing with the priority on doing, um, I think it's the test of skill. Well, hold on. One of these gives us that head. Which one is it? This one. Yeah, that's the head that we need. The scavenger matron head. Okay, so that's the plan. That's the quest that we'll do in the next episode to grab that. Um, but like I said, I'm going to spend some time off camera doing some grinding and getting more resources and that sort of thing. And I, do we have... Oh, the grinding stone's your thing. Oh, okay. I thought that was a, a kitchen thing, but it's his thing. Okay, for, yeah, it makes sense for alchemy and stuff. So we'll put the grinding stone in the corner. And before I let you go, um,. Oh, we need bronze bars for that. This gives three comfort. Is that... That's different than this. Because this has like a a stone bottom and this one has like a, a wooden bottom to it. And it gives two comfort. But... This gives three comfort, and we, we can make it. In fact, let's make it. You've got a good eye, flame okay, so... This would... This kind of looks like more of a... Almost a kitchen item. But she's going to have... Nah, she's going to have kitchen stuff for us to make. Okay, so let's do this. Let's pick this up. And let's put this... Actually, here, let's also pick that up. Okay, can we... This isn't really designed to kitty corner, but we could... If we take snapping off... Yeah, I think that's fine like that. Um, oh, it needs a kind of needs a chimney. To, eh, I don't know. That does look kind of jank by not being flat up against there, doesn't it? Um, we could we could make a chimney. I don't like. Yeah, I don't like that being in kitty corner like that. So let's put it that way. And if we go back to here 
and I need... Where's my building stuff? Yeah. Let's get some stone blocks. And let's try two meter and go stone. That's pretty damn big, isn't it? This could actually work, though. Um, yeah. So let's... Let's put that there. And that there. See what that looks like on the outside. Whoops. <laughs> uh nah. No 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 no. That's where I want it, but I want it to I want it to yeah. Just like that. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, if we put this here, I think that's right. No, we need to... Yes, that's what we need to do. Okay. There we go. White. Why is it cut off there, though? If we remove this. Okay, that looks good there. Looks good there. That looks good there, and there. Okay. Does this look okay on the inside? This is just really kind of weird, you know? Uh, but what I want to do is I want to get rid of those wood blocks. And replace them with... Stone. Yeah, that's probably about as good as that's going to get. Uh, looks like we could maybe put... No, not that. Put one there and one there, too. Um, <clears throat> all right, there's, so something's jank right here. Shit, man. All right, let's go back to here. Oh, uh, it's, it's actually there. It's just not visible. What if we take that out? 
Yeah, it's just, I don't know why it's doing that. There's something here that's screwing that up. And the thing is, like I said, it, 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 that roof piece is actually there. You just, it's just not showing up. It's like a graph, graphic glitch. There. Okay. So that, that fixed that. The question now is, can we fill these two spots in without screwing the roof up? All right, so let's take and put our crafting bench back down. Um, we'll just stick it right here. Kind of right in the middle of the of the fire. Yeah, here, let's let's put it under the window or next to the window. Center it. Um, turn snapping off and. Hold down R to rotate. There. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to try one more thing before I let you guys go. Let's just remove that piece altogether for a second. And see if I can re-set it. No, it just, for whatever reason, it drops those two little stones, and I, I don't think I can do anything about that. So, it is what it is. All right, you guys. Um, I think we're going to wrap things up here. This episode is kind of long, but usually building episodes are. And, oh, we're, that's, we still only have comfort level 13. I would have thought with this being three that it would have given us more points. We could make we can make the better bed. You've got a good eye. You've got a good eye. Is, is this can't, uh, hmm. so can you only have one as far as comfort level goes, you only have one of each type of item. So for example, is this fireplace, because I set it down first, canceling out the three points that we would have gotten from that. Let's try something. Pick that up. And pick this up. It's still only 13. So maybe that isn't the way that that works. If we pick this up. Oh, backpack is full. Hold on. Um, here, let me put a couple things back in here. We actually should be putting that, that stuff in here so we can pull from it magically. And I would call charcoal a wood product, a wood byproduct, to be more precise. Um, we could put the bricks in the stone area. Bone meal, that's farming, which is here. And I don't have this chest magic yet. Wood acid is alchemy, so that would go, I guess we'd put in the magic. Um, there's a, there's a lot, not a whole lot of room in there at the moment. Oh, I've got another chest here. Let's put that here and enable snapping. There we go. 
Let's put the metal back in here. Now, if I pick this fireplace up, we still have comfort level 13. It's like it's not making a damn bit of difference. I don't understand that. Because it says three points. Uh, oh, no, hold on. There. Yeah, that doesn't change it. I, I don't know. Oh, wait a second. I'm not thinking about this correctly. All right, so each comfort level, I'll bet you, has a certain amount of comfort points that you need to reach before you get to that level. So when I say this has three points, that doesn't mean it has three comfort points. It has three points that goes towards the next level. I bet you that's what's going on there. Okay. That's probably what the deal is. Um... All right, so in that case, I'm going to put, I like to keep this over by my bed so I, you know, don't get cold at night. That way when I sleep, I just get, I'm fully rested all the way. So I think that's probably what's going on there. I mean, I don't know that for sure because I'm still trying to figure all this out, but. Um, let's, let's finish the bathroom before I let you guys go. So we can make that right now. We need a total of seven more nails. Hopefully, yeah, I should be able to make seven more, but I'm almost completely out of, um, one, two, three, four. I'm almost completely out of metal, so I'm gonna have to go farm up a bunch of that. Uh, we're going this way. Bathroom. Okay, so we'll make the tub and the uh, the throne. Let's sleep. Make it light. Maybe once I put all these down, we'll be at the next comfort level. We'll see. But I think you can, if you max this out, <coughs> I think you can get almost up to an an hour of comfort level, which is pretty badass. Okay, so, for the bathroom, um, yeah, we're going to need to fill in this wall. Oh, balls. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, no. Just go to a four meter wall. Okay. And we, we need some light in here, too. Illumination. Chandelier. It would probably make sense to have something hanging from the from the ceiling. Putting a chandelier in the bathroom is kind of funny. It depends upon how big this thing is, though. We need to make four candles. Do we do that here? Um, I think so. Illumination. Yeah. Okay. See you later. It would it would actually make more sense to put this in the entryway. But for now, um it's it's really hard for me to see where the center is. 
I'm going to guess that it's going to be right there. That doesn't give a whole shit little light, does it? Maybe... Maybe wall lights would be better. This is going to give more comfort points. Um, I'm probably going to take that chandelier back out and put it... That needs to go, like, in the, in the foyer anyways, I think. So let's make two of those. And... Alright, we'll make two lights. Oh, these are little. Hmm. That might be too low. But let's start with that. And we don't need that there. That should go... Maybe up here. And, you know, I'll probably make a bunch of these. The thing is, though, is it's so... high up that it doesn't... Yeah, that's too low. And it doesn't seem to generate a whole lot of light. Um, no, that's not quite in the scent. Well, actually... That might be... I'm just going to leave it there for now. Okay. Now, let's take a look at these things here. We'll probably put the bathtub... I just had a thought. Okay, what if we put the tub here? Uh, oh, we're comfort level 15 already. Nice. Put the pooper here, and the sink there. We need a rug. Oh, that's right. They gotta be undercover. Oh, shit. That means we can't keep them out here. Um, where is my... Oh, it's right here. Yeah, okay, they're, they're just gonna have to hang out right inside here, because they have to be undercover. I can't, that's just the way the game works. I can't do anything about it, so. Carpets. Let's make, let's make the little one. Turn snapping off so I can get it centered. There. Now we're at comfort level 19. Beautiful. Um, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, why don't we put this back the way that it was? And we're just going to have just this little small room for the bathroom. Let's go back to two meters and just put that back in there like it was. Okay. 
And then what we'll do here is just remove that altogether. Um, right, because I, I carved that one out. Right, okay. You see where I'm going with this? Uh, okay, then we put you right there. And a door is just a, I think we just make the door straight up. It's not a, a building item. Um, yeah, doors. Wooden door. Workbench. Oh no, that's a double door, right? I did that last time too. Okay. Oh no, we need we need this to go back in a little bit. It's sticking out too far. There we go. That's what we want to do. Okay. Now I like this because it makes the bathroom it gives the bathroom a little more room. You know, than it had before anyways. And, oh, and yeah, we can actually move stuff around even more. Right about there. Okay. I like that. I like it, man. Um, I think the candle, though, should be centered right over the toilet. Right about there. It's a beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful thing. And then, and I like the fact that we can open this back up too, you know, so. What do you think? She's going, oh my God, a bathroom finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Um. What if we just do, what if we just get rid of those all together? Then we can put another stack of storage right there. I don't, I, I think that looks better because I just, I wasn't really happy with having to then kind of jank to the left to get through there, you know, with that wall in the way. I think this looks a lot better. Oh man, there's just so many different ways you can do this, you know, uh, which is a good thing. It just illustrates how, you know, what a fantastic job the developers have done with building in this game. But, you know, I'm not an interior designologist, so... <laughs> so it's, I, it's kind of hard to, for me to, I, I mean, it's not hard, but I guess I'm just, what I'm saying is I'm not the best person at this kind of thing, but hey, you know what? It's working. All right, you guys, this episode has gone way, way long, but building episodes often do. Um, So yeah, it is what it is. All right. So the plan for the next episode is to get back to questing. And in particular, we're going to do the Alchemist Rumors because I want to get this Matron Head so that I can upgrade the flame so that I can get through the Deadly Shroud and, you know, do some of the other quests that we need to be able to get through the Deadly Shroud to do. Uh, and we also got our comfort level all the way up to 19. So that gives us 24 minutes of rested bonus. Nice. So we added another, what, five minutes, I think, to it than from what we had before, which is going to be very handy when we're out and about lots of other things that do, uh, you know, still do need to happen. Um, and we will get that, get those done as time goes on in terms of, you know, in the house here, but with that, I'm going to let you guys go here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.